Hello, true believers. Excelsior! Just a panic video from yours truly, because I've been listening to people suggesting ways to make this game better, and some of these takes are so brain damaged that I couldn't help but throw a video of my own out. Some of these takes range from suggesting Crystal Dynamics devote time to a create an inhuman thing so you can make your own hero, barf, to mindless takes like nerfing Thor. And I will be honest, the suggestion that Thor should be nerfed broke me. I flew to Reddit and Discord so fast my fingers damn near fell off, begging whoever would listen to pass on the idea that we definitely shouldn't nerf Thor. On Reddit I made a post and it read, just so they know, nerfing Thor is the wrong way to go. He is a god. Fix the others. Air quotes, balance has sabotaged the heroes so that their base stats are all comparable, which is absurd. Thor is a god. His heroic rating reflects his power and his ability to harness many elements fits. Hulk should naturally be as tanky and unflinching as Thor is heroic. Widow should naturally move faster and her and Iron Man should naturally have a higher base ranged rating than the others. Captain America is a super soldier. His melee rating should naturally reflect the Brooklyn Brawler who can do this all day. Please, don't adjust a god down adjust the others up. Well, everyone seems to agree, but you'd be shocked at the inner machinations of the minds of these shills and defenders, and golly gosh, gee whiz, Crystal Dynamics, I don't mean to sound any more up my ass than normal, but I'm certain the game's not in a state where we should be making polarizing changes like nerfing heroes. It's not a PvP game, let's just, you know, that's, that's, you know, I'm not saying you were gonna do it, but don't do it. You know what I mean? For the record, I don't hate the idea of a creating an inhuman. You know, it's just, it's just nowhere near relevant enough right now to deserve even a minute of time that the devs could be putting towards giving this game a bit more variety as it pertains to the gameplay. Which leads me right into this Friday, Crystal Dynamics hosting a questions and answers session where they entertain very specifically selected questions from their fan base. But the questions they need to answer are questions like, why are rare gear pieces outclassing exotics? Why don't we get level up rewards past level 50? What new game modes are you working on? Is a patrol or wave-based horde mode or a flight-centric mode being considered? Can we get custom harm rooms so we can set modifiers and environments? Can we all play as the same hero too, at least? The photo mode opportunities alone would, would be free press for this game. Villains. When can we expect more? Why are you punishing players by capping resources so low? 65,000 for units, man. When there's not even anything for me to buy, you like force me to just go out and buy stuff to free up space in my pockets. Like, let, let us buy takedowns with these units. When can we expect artifacts to be shared? Will the marketplace prices be reduced and can we expect one-to-one -one comic skins? Loading screens. Can these people wear what we have equipped on them or can we use photo mode pictures for a slideshow? When can Hulk lift cars? If they answer even three of these questions, I will be shocked. I'll stream this game for like an hour on Twitch if they answer three of these questions. It's just, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You, have, you, you, see, you see what Spider-Man Miles Morales is doing. Insomniac Games is about to knock it out of the park once again with a show-stopping, astounding celebration of the heart, soul, and, and just, just, oof. It's gonna be dripping with personality. Look at these skins and then there's a cat in there. Oh man, wouldn't it be cool if some of that dropped in this bitch ass game? Ow. But no. <laughs> what is the point? Number 15, Burger King's Marvel's Avengers 
Imagine releasing a game so broken a thousand patches can't fix it. <laughs> Ayo, hey, from the bottom of my heart, Crystal Dynamics, thank you for saving my wallet with this desert that you call a marketplace. Ain't a damn thing in here that I'm trying to buy, baby. Fortnite over here got, got more Marvel characters than you can count on your freaking fingers. And here come Ghost Rider for, for Halloween because seasonal events are a thing that people do in their games. You know who else coming? Not just Ghost Rider, Ghost Busters. Can you imagine if they sold you the music for the main menu? Oh my God. Fortnite has even monetized the menu music in the lobby, my dude. And people will buy it. You know why? They didn't pay $60 to play a broken mess. They got in for free. So now they spend $20 every other day thinking to themselves, oh, it ain't, it's not much. It's just a little bit. And what are we supposed to feel sorry? We can't feel sorry for you. You have the Marvel license. Take literally take literally old school captain america throw his ass in the marketplace and watch the money drown you i hope you have snorkel gear if you put any comic book skins in the shop because how you gonna see through all the damn money oh my god Ooh, where are your investors and why aren't they cracking that whip on that ass what's wrong with y'all don't you have people to answer to do you just do whatever you want to in a workplace what a disgrace how you doing marvel like this everybody don't want to play calling it quits gay 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 in response to Crystal Dynamics asking for questions, Forbes journalist Paul Tassi threw a couple of his questions into the ring. To quickly breeze through them, he asks how Hawkeye and Kate Bishop differ. You know, what movesets do they share? Um, they're archers, man. Talk about a power fantasy. How about I do something that I can do in real life? Wouldn't that be exciting? You know, hey, choose a superhero, Hawkeye. What? He goes on to ask what the purpose of having three hub worlds is. It's a damn good question. None of them are social hubs either. He goes on to ask what exactly is the reward difference between the different challenge levels and why is that not explicitly listed? Oh, allow me to tell you, homie, because it doesn't matter. You know, loot will differ in level when it drops within the mission, but the rewards do not change. If you really want to talk, I think the fact that when we level up past level 50 is the most hilarious aspect of us not getting anything. He goes on to ask, why is Thor's heroic stat so weirdly high? Paul Tassie, if you don't shut your mouth, why are artifacts not shared? You know, that's one of Kyle's big questions going back a month. He goes on to ask, what activities at least have a chance to drop exotics? You normie. You know what, maybe this was a low-key jab at the fact that before Tachyon Rifts, the only way to get exotics was to play the solo modes in this multiplayer game. I'll give it to him. He goes on to ask, why does the in-game cosmetic store rarely feel like it ever changes? It's because there ain't that much on offer. There are only a few things that have been kept suspiciously out of the rotation for what uh, the shop offers. And you know how we know is because people time travel Animal Crossing style and they don't come across these skins at any point in the year. And they listen, credit where credit is due, even Paul Tassie out here asking, where is the roadmap? When are more villains coming? <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Crystal Dynamics, you done bought yourself some time. A lot of people have just thrown up their hands and given up on this game for right now. And at the moment, the kind of updates it would need to bring it in line with other gaming experiences in the landscape are gargantuan. And with your current staff and speed, none of us expect it too soon. Sprinkle in two archers, tackling more robots, Spider-Man, Cyberpunk on the horizon. Boy, I look forward to your question and answer session and hope to God that you don't avoid the questions from the remaining player base as it will be a huge factor in who returns. I look forward to your War Table stream, plan to watch that live next month, and hope that if you're in this for the long haul, that you endeavor to communicate with your players and prioritize replayable multiplayer modes over a single player hit it and quit it narrative structure. 
good luck. My name's Kyle. Thank you for listening. <laughs>